What do you make, Ben, of Trump's resurgence? I mean, let's face it, the midterms were a bit of a disappointment. Uh, there were quite a lot of people in the party talking somewhat negatively, saying, look, you know, he was a great president, but what's done is now done. Uh, what do you make of Trump's resurgence? What's behind it? Well, you noticed with each indictment that he became more popular. And uh, I think a lot of people who don't actually care for him in terms of his personality recognize that if we allow uh, his opponents to use the Department of Justice to eliminate him as a viable candidate, America will never be the same again. The people are smart enough yes, to actually I mean, realize the politicization. That. Yeah, yeah, the sheer. And yet, Ben, it's Biden and the Democrats who say that Trump is a threat to democracy. <laughs> well, they always accuse everyone else of whatever else they're doing. I mean, to try to eliminate someone off the ballot so that people can't even vote for them, to disenfranchise the voters, uh, it's hard to come up with a, a better definition of someone uh, who is a threat to our democratic process. I've also noticed, um, not just in America, but here in the UK and across Europe, and believe it or not, even at Davos, even at the World Economic Forum, you know, there we saw Jamie Dimon, the boss of J.P. Morgan and one or two other global leaders saying, actually, do you know what? Maybe it's time we stop disrespecting Trump. He's actually been right about China. He's been right about the deterioration of law and order in America's cities. He's been right that the border would become a very serious political issue. D do you sense and feel that he's a bit less of a lone ranger and that now people are accepting that he could become the 47th president. Well, I mean, people know him and they know what he did. Uh, they also know his personality is such that he's probably not going to let anything roll off his back and just ignore it. Um, you have to take the good with the bad. You take it all together and you have to ask yourself the question. And I think people are asking the question. Would you rather have someone who maybe is a little loose with the tongue but has policies that improve your life? Or would you rather have someone with a silver tongue who has all the correct political speech and does nothing but ruin your life? Yeah, I, I think, you know, I think people are beginning to think, you know, that presidency had some great successes, the economy... Uh, foreign policy. Uh, do you think, Ben, I mean, do you believe in your water that he's going to win the election come November? Yes, I do. I totally believe that. And uh, also, there's going to be uh, more attention uh, to the election uh, like there was in Virginia during the election there. 95% of the precincts were covered. Uh, they didn't buy into the, if you're going to be an observer, you have to observe from way over there where you can't see anything. I don't think that's going to be acceptable anymore. Hmm. Oh, no, no, I mean, I, I sense there is a real change coming.